Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting. In this video, I'm going to show you how I ruined my water tank. My buffer tank is gone. Oh man, we should have known better, but we stay so incredibly busy. And sometimes this happens, but nonetheless, I'd rather be busy than not working, right? Hey, matter of fact, if you're looking for more ways to market your pressure washing business, check out that link in the description below. Bring it to our resource page. There's tons of ways on there where you can where you can find pressure washing jobs at little or no cost to marketing. Some very uncommon ways. Also, we got some new material on there as well. So I ruined this buffer tank. Um, I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but it's bowed out really bad on all four sides. I'll show you, it even popped my um, my uh, little tie straps down here on the other side. I'm gonna show you that, but you see how it's bowed out. It's supposed to be flat on all four sides. So check this side out. It popped off a tire strap. You know how hard those are break. That tank tank swelled up a lot. It even pushed the metal out. Let me see if I can get some. I don't know how much you can see in there, but that's the metal frame right there. I mean, it's really bowed out. This was a gap. This is bowed out. The whole frame is bowed out. This was a large enough gap you can put your fist down in there. Now it's not. And the tank didn't slide over either. That's how much it swole. So I'm going to show you how. We have dual feed ports on our tank. That's one. Goes into the top of the tank. And we have another one on this side. We were dual feeding this from two different faucets. And I'm going to show you where my mistake was. And I swear, I didn't think this would ever happen. I didn't know if it had that much water pressure. I had this little cap inside this screw top and it built up pressure. And we heard it popping a couple times, but it didn't dawn on me what was going on. The machines were running, that sort of thing. It was kind of hard to hear. I didn't know what it was. So when we took a break, water were shooting out of our bypass line ports right around the edges here. I was like, oh my God, what is that? came over here and noticed that the tank was bulging we oh as soon as i knew you know as soon as i seen it, i knew it, i heard him hit the dump valve and i mean it just blew out of that dump valve i just had no idea that it would pressurize this tank this much so you know long story short was dual feeding it it was the tank was too tight it filled up it had that air caught in it and i guess 60 or 70 psi from those water hoses Swole the tank up. That's in incredible. I'm, a, I'm amazed by it just to think about it. So needless to say, I got to buy another water tank, most likely. I think it's leaking in a couple spots. I think when it uh, when it bulged out like that, it punctured it on a couple of the rivets or something. But, you know, they're not that expensive. It's just getting it is the tough part. I'm trying to uh, find an afternoon when I'm off and run go a couple hours away and grab one. But other than that, guys, if y'all ever do this, make sure you have a relief port in it now we do well, guys again i'm billy davidson here with davidson pressure washer painting showing you how not to ruin your buffer tank please like subscribe comment below we'll see you in the next video